Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. And today we're gonna look at my top 10 uh, winter palette uh, recap where I'm gonna share with you how much I've used each of these palettes, um, what happened with them, how much I've liked them and stuff like that. Also, if this is your first time here, hi, my name's Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows. And uh, every three months I create like a seasonal top 10 uh, eyeshadow palette collection. And at the end of the season, I always come back and do this do this recap where I share with you how much I've used these products, um, if I even use them and stuff like that. So that's for this video. Uh, if you're interested in if you're interested in what I'm wearing, I have the Mighty Monster uh, palette by uh, Uden's Eye in collaboration with Annette Oberstadt. This is my first look with this palette. Uh, a review of this should be up on my channel should be up on my channel and I will link it down below and in the little card. And speaking of this palette, I also have the first version of this collab which was um which Uden's I released three years ago. I think it was three years ago. It was the Giant Wolves palette which I still to this day use. Um I've got it from a friend like a year and a half ago. Uh, because she didn't need it and I really wanted this one because it's so pretty and so like jewel tones and just beautiful and this one was my number 10 on my um, list of palettes and at the beginning of winter I had 18 uses of this palette and now it's we're at 23 uses so I've used it five times throughout winter which is not a lot but it's also like quite old palette and it it doesn't perform the way that i'm used to with Uden's i also they reformulated it since then and it's just they're at better quality now that they were with this bud but this bud is still amazing i still love her she's just starting to show her age so i think she's gonna go into my like display collection and maybe i'm just gonna check on with her once in a while to like for comparisons and like I don't maybe I'll still use her once in a while but it's not gonna be in my everyday collection it's just gonna be as a display piece from now on so that's the giant wolves palette then another palette from Odin's Eye is the earth palette uh this is a palette that they've released even before the wolves palette I think this is the the norm collection was a couple of months before that. Uh, I've got this one in a, uh, how do you call it? In a mystery box. Uh, every Easter they do like a mystery box where you can get a lot of their products. So that's really cool. This is how she looks like. We went from 23 uses to 31 uses. So I've used her eight times, which is a good, um, good number considering that it's a very small palette. And as you can see, I've been able to create one pen, which I am so, so, so happy because it doesn't happen very often. Well, I mean, I've been really trying to pen my palettes, especially this one, because this one is on my project pen. And the other shades, especially these two matte ones, are not that far from it. So I'm super happy that uh, thanks to putting this in this collection, I was able to use it more and get, first, uh, get my first pen of this palette. So that's that. And we've gotten five uses out of her. Then I have the Siren Sunset palette by Lunar Beauty. Uh, we started at zero uses and we went to nine uses. So I've used her nine times. I've uh, literally filmed a video uh, with my winter collection the day that I got this palette so um we went from zero uses to nine uses and it's not my favorite color story but some of these shades are super nice it's just that i usually use this palette with other palettes because for me i can't do a full-on look unless repeating the same two looks pretty much because i don't really want to use the neutrals with these colors so i don't mind using these neutrals with like yellows or oranges or 
greens even like like yellowy greens but with these cooler tones i just i don't like that idea so much but it's a beautiful beautiful palette the shimmers are so nice and just so comfortable like they're just it's a very nice formula uh to touch and the cover art is just so beautiful it's a very nice palette then i have the moonfall palette by shroud cosmetics this is their small like nine pan palette they have i think they have all of their palette well the peaches and dreams is uh, like 10 pan or something but this is a nine pan again like beautiful jewel tones i love these uh, colors so so much we went from nine uses to 16 uses so sec uh, so we use her seven times and yeah I, I really like her i mostly use her as a companion palette because like you have a lot of colors but, like in a small uh, number of shades so it's kind of hard to do like a one dedicated look using all of this and also there's no inner corner highlight for me but she's beautiful and I actually and I actually think she would be beautiful to use with the mighty dragon uh mighty monster palette um so yeah seven uses I'm very happy with that and she's a really nice one then I have the Gourmand Girls in collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny, the Nightshade palette. So this is how that looks like. And with the Nightshade we went from 14 uses to 19 uses, so I've only used her 5 times. Uh, I was mainly focusing on the Project Pen palette, so that's the reason why this one wasn't as used. But, I mean... She's been used nine times, 19 times so far, and I've had her since like, what, September, so I think it's good enough uses. And I love her, she's so beautiful, like the purples, the yellows, the greens, she is truly stunning palette, I just, I was focusing on palettes that I was reviewing and on palettes that I was trying to pen, so she didn't get enough love, but um, she's my all time, like uh, all year, favorite palette and like palette that I reach for often since I've got her so I think she's gonna get a lot more uses by this year's winter then another palette I used to have the uh I when I filmed the original winter palette collection video I uh I've put there the delicious delights palette by cosmic brushes because I didn't have the winter wonderland palette and I didn't thought I'm gonna get her because mine got stuck in transit in like the postal office but then I got her so and I said in that video if I'm gonna get the winter wonderland palette eventually I'll replace her with the I'll replace the delights palette by with this one so we started at zero uses, now we're at 14 uses, so I've used her 14 times during winter, which is, I mean, this is a quintessential winter palette, like, if you have this, you have everything you need for winter, if we're completely, if you're being honest, and yeah, I've used her so much, you can't even see any of the imprints, like, there was imprint here, and like, here, and here, and I don't know where else, like, there were, there were little uh, snowflakes, on the matte shades like uh, printed there like imprinted there and they are no longer so yeah i've used her a lot 14 times she's beautiful i love cosmic brushes cosmic brushes have like amazing formula and for the delight palette we went from 18 to 22 uses so i've used that one four times during winter but this one is uh, is definitely better for for winter months. Then I have the uh, the little ghost palette by Odin's Eye in collaboration with Angelica. Uh, I've put this one here, even though it's a Halloween release. I think a lot of these shades are more wintry. Like I can see a lot of like there's a lot of cool tones which are winter, and then like the warm tones remind me of Christmas, which again is winter. So yeah. I love her. Um, I especially love the the matte shades are amazing. Except this one, like I love all of the matte shades, 
And these two like purpley pinky shades are stunning. I've been really enjoying them lately. Uh, they've been like a staple of mine. Um, again, I don't have many of the imprints left. Like I tried to salvage these, but you can see that they're halfway gone. Uh, which is shame because I, I really wish I could keep the little imprints there, but um, that's that's really hard to do when you're actually using the palettes. So we went from uh, 14 uses to 19 uses. I've used her five times, which is not a lot, but again, I was reviewing a lot of things. So, And now we're getting to palettes that I've used a lot. Well, kind of. I have the Merry Christmas palette, which is the last year's um, Christmas release from Odin's Eye. And for the Merry Christmas palette, we went from 60 uses to 72 uses, so I've used her 8 times. And I think I've been able to create two pants. since the or maybe maybe three pants since the um original winter collection video because these two i think didn't have a pen and then this green one also didn't have a pen if i remember that correctly so you know since this is my project pen palette i think i'm doing a good job with her and she, she looks beaten up honestly right now but yeah uh use her eight times then I have the another Cosmic Brushes uh, palette, and that's the Gothic palette. Love her. It's a beautiful, cold-toned purple palette, which I really like. And we went from 10 uses to 14 uses, so we used her four times. Which I know it's not that much, but again, I was focusing on the Winter Wonderland palette, and I also got the Muse palette, so I was focusing on these two and their 20 pen palette, so it's like kind of harder to you know get a lot of uses out of them and properly review them i have to i have to use it more than other palettes that are smaller but this one is beautiful and yeah only for uses but i've really enjoyed working with her and i mean she has 14 uses so far and i got her end of september i think or beginning of October, if I remember that correctly. So I don't have her for a very long time. And then another Christmas palette by Odin's Eye. This is the uh, Christmas Eve palette, uh, which they released last year. It's also on my project pen, and we went from 49 uses to 61 uses. So I've used her 12 times. It's my uh, this one, and the Winter Wonderland palette is my most used palette of this collection like throughout the winter i think i think when i filmed the video the only pen that i had was this one and now we have this this and this and also this pen so since it's my project pen i uh i've really focused on her and i was able to create a lot of pens with this one and i'm so happy about that because obviously like it's the beginning of the year and that means that we still have a lot of room to, to like continue this project pen and i think i could get half of these shadows banned by the end of the year i think that's a that's a very reasonable goal to set for myself and when it comes to the totals uh in total all of these palettes i was able to use them 81 times so the total amount of uses a lot of the, a lot of the times i would use more than one palette for a look so sometimes i would use both of uh, the palettes from this collection or one of them and then other palette in my like that i was currently reviewing or just any other palette but in total we have 81 uses which considering that it's been three months that's a lot that's nearly like using it all the time as i said like as a lot of the times i would use two palettes at once so it's not completely uh, like that, but um, I'm still really happy. Like 81 uses is a, is a good number, in my opinion. I've also already filmed my spring collection, uh, spring palette collection, which 
should already be up on my channel i will also link it um down below and i will link the original winter collection for you as well if you if you want to see that if you want to get inspired so that's all for this video i'm kind of losing my voice uh but let me know if you have any of these palettes let me know if you've had them in your winter collection or if you've used them throughout winter and uh, let me know if you like winter palettes more than spring palettes or the other way around i would be really happy i would be really happy to hear that i think i'm kind of undecided on that because i like deeper colors but i also really like pastels and like fun colorful like uh floral colors so i'm undecided but let me know what would be your pick and that's everything from me for today so hope you have a great day and i will be very happy to see you in my next video so bye